Alright guys, here we go. I'm sorry I'm late. Um, I'm just trying to get this stream going, so uh, you don't mind if I put it right here, just like this, okay, you guys? So um, no no need for changing right now. So uh, it's gonna stay exactly like that. So um, now we're we're live. So I'm gonna turn this up so that you guys can hear. So please look forward to it. Okay, let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. Get back for a try, Nintendo. This long but um, to be honest, I already finished Kirby Star Ally, so um, years, fans of the I don't know if I'm interested in uh, getting remake this game the right now. Game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I die. This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells, step into the light, or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Find out what's in store for the beloved world of Trials of Mana on April 24th. This what happened to the crew of this doomed ship. The Overton vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England with no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew remains unknown. As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the momentum mortem pocket. Okay, yeah, it will um take a minute, you guys. So um, not to worry, cause um, somehow m my Wi-Fi has some um major issue uh, buffering so much. So um, just give it some watch time. Turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. You Man, what's going on with this? Observe the situation. Hold on a second, you guys. I'm sorry. It's... Alright, here it goes. 
We live back. True tale will never be told. What brought the Overdin to such an end? Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Overdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 2019. There's a small town out there with a big secret. Never leave town. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster. To defend the townspeople, one boy named Axe will stand up to face it. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Little Town Hero will make a stand on Nintendo Switch October 16th. You can pre-purchase and preload the game later today. Fall is coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <clears throat> okay. We can finally confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3, Banjo and Kazooie. Banjo and Kazooie. Okay, so now... That's coming out on Challenger uh, Pet 5. I mean 4. Oh, so it's coming out. So it's today? Awesome. Okay, I'll, I'll try them out. So I, got, I never have heard play the, um, the Banjo Kazooie game. So uh, I'll get him for a try out. Alright, awesome. Good job, Nintendo. Okay, so we're now just showing every uh, console in the past that whatever you grew up playing, any old classic console that you already played Nintendo. So what we got here, Neo Geo? I I wonder what that game is, cause uh. Okay. What? What is this? Some dirty little master hand? Okay, so what is this? This Street Fighters? Harry? What? Well, this is awkward. Don't know who the hell Terry is. So he's at in uh, Fatal Fury. And it's coming out in November, okay. So I believe we're getting like at least one more of the, um, the Challenger pack. So now, 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 now you see Banjo's on the uh, third one, so now. Terry is coming to the uh, fourth challenger for a Smash Ultimate. All right. Can there really be only one left? We're 
happy to confirm the development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass, we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. The battle isn't over yet. That's true. So, what do you think? Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. It's about time to wake the Windfish in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which means the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. You know what, I gotta show watch the, um, the live chat, so I'm just trying to figure out where that is, okay, here it is. Tasks. Encounter some oddly familiar faces. Whatever happens, got to show up for us the um, soon, so before its mysteries get the best. Uh, let's listen to this. With the all new chamber dungeon, you can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Add in plus effects that alter chambers and save chamber dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. The new Link Amiibo figure will be available that same day. You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now join his adventure. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. And experience new character-focused stories. The day the game launches, free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack, including consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. An RPG giant draws near. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition, journeys onto Nintendo Switch September 27th. Until then, you can prepare for your adventure with the free demo on Nintendo eShop. Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? Then say hello to Tokyo! The world of the Fire okay, Emblem nice. Fire Emblem. Paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. So this is um a duel. Modern-day Tokyo. Oh, Our okay. Energy is so That's abundant, nice. It's materialized into something called Performa, which attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. You'll face off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Very nice. Fire Emblem characters like Krom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles, blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And, in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features, from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp her. FE Encore releases on January 17th. You can pre-purchase the game later today. Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. Boston, okay, so what is it? 2019. It all begins again when FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case. She also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans, 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise, boggles and beguiles on Nintendo Switch in 2020. And now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop and Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Check it out.
don't like it when they show any of this, um, you know, the graphic that has to look like some arena of battle that you are playing for free on the Switch, because I'm not quite sure yet, yet because to be honest, that's the opinion, because the Switch hold like, um, unique, um, disability, but to, uh, to be honest, it had, like, um, because you can tell because well, the graphic looks familiar, familiar to it, because I just I can't tell uh, a why, a why this game had to be so good about it, but less than uh, scarier. Okay, so that, that game is coming today, but uh, I, I not, may not be now interested. Now for a message from Bethesda. Alright. Hey Nintendo fans, he hides from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at Ins Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool yeah, that we have in the comments to Nintendo um, Switch. I see one just uh, asked for Pitman. I'm sure yeah, many of you I, have really fond memories of happen. spending countless hours Before playing Pitman your favorite game. games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on the Nintendo console. Relive your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Or, if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. from developer Hi-Rez Studios' Rogue Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. With your nice. guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Nice. How's it going? Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We have more information to share. All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it, Nintendo. Let's get it. Pokemon Adventure. Please I'm looking forward to it. Alright, that Thanos snap. Pokemon Let's get it. Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region. A scenic land. The Gala where people region. and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. First, customizing your look. Once again, the latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including outerwear and gloves. Plus, you can change your hairstyle or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. Oh, cool. You've got to look the part, too, don't oh, you think? Oh, do that. Second, Pokemon Camp. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps, too. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokémon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokémon. Third, Curry on Rice. Pokémon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on Rice. How your curry turns out, and what type it is, ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Not to mention the heart you put into it. There are more than 100 types. 
and each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To master the art of curry. Huh? What's that Pokemon doing here? And fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. First is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tableware at hotels and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost-type Pokemon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, we are looking at uh, tea pop Pokemon. Pokemon. This flying and water-type Pokemon has won a huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. When it uses surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises oh. from the water, along okay. with a catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this oh, and then that good did burn to swallow some fish, and then just go and attack This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability, Gulp Missile. Nice. And that's all we have to share with you today. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch. Yes, it's almost no. happening. Just like, just two more months until it comes out. Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the gallery. Two more months, Nintendo. So, two more months. it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online memberships. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. And now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. It's called Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. With this, you can play a variety of classic Super NES games on Nintendo oh, Switch. Oh, that looks fun. Oh, so now you can see playing more Lego uh, Pass. I already had that game. Like Stunt Race FX. Alright, we're gonna bounce. Will I be able to start playing that game? I wanna like see it. Yeah, well, I don't see the uh, Earthbound or Mother Free. This offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch you Online see that. members, so please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, did you? To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online exclusive controller as a special offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. This Super NES style controller will be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Visit the Nintendo no. website for the latest information on its release. I should get used to, to um Wouldn't getting one of those. Nice to play those games again but uh, I'm a little break at the moment, so uh, well, I'm not going to get it right now. Nintendo Switch headlines. I'm going to get used to one of that sure, later. Can you survive this? Oh, so Nintendo Switch Online is getting another large -scale version. Large-scale puzzle battle game Tetris 99 is getting a free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and that's for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions. You can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet! To showcase your accomplishments, we're tossing in a vast array of new player icons, too. Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is here as well. In two-player share battle mode, pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two-player game against each other and the CPU. And get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. A packaged version including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be available September 6th. Mario and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in Tokyo. Okay, Mario they're coming back. At the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. 
This time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football, skateboarding, okay. rugby sevens, sport climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. Check out these 10 retro style events. Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic okay. at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold November 5th. Yeah, we had to wait for two months for that game to release, so um, it's, we don't have the, uh, the chance to go to purchase it. will be here sooner than you think. Ahead of the full game's release next week, the free demo version, Damon X Machina Prologue Demo, will be available for download later today. In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game, and all of your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players, and we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your friends and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon. Damon X Machina will be ready for action September 13th. A Star Wars classic so fun it's back what? for more. Kyle no Katana, way. Agent of the New Republic is our only hope to stop a rogue. Jedi. I can't believe it. Get your it's rapidly. happening. Blaster in hand. And prepare to wield the full power of the Force. Okay. Of Aspire. Full single player experience of Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 okay. Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo It's almost, it's happening. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Games. Here's where my journey begins. You are Geralt of Rivia, mercenary monster slayer. Your current contract, tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. You'll have a whole world to explore at home and on the go. When the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Then transform into the <gasps> ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's what? Creed Rogue. That's two action packed games for one great value. Another Assassin Creed. And new features like touch control and motion aiming. Coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch and Assassin's Creed The Rebel. I heard that game would sound really old. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free to play action RPG. Okay, it's happening again. It's, it's buffering. Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran or you take your slayer on the go, keep going. Ready to forge your legacy. You'll hone your Don't skills, stop. craft and customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other slayers to take down boss sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. Open your calendar. More games are on the way. Okay. Nice. Alright, we're getting just in 2020. We're getting good out of sport. Alright, that's that might be interesting because um, I don't even feel like I want to do any more uh, car racing games. I'm not even two star racing right now. Okay, so now we got Nino Kuni Red for the White Wish. I still got the um the, the second uh, Nino Kuni game on the uh, PS4 and I have not finished uh, beating the game. But I'm definitely looking forward to the first one though, to get on my sword, but not right now, because uh, maybe I'll later in the future. Call uh Kaku Akia. I don't know if you can like that. Okay, we got the Outer Worlds coming soon. Well, it looks interesting because it kind of reminds me of Monster Hunter. Double May Cry 2. That'll be interesting. Same three. 
a vampire. Uh, that is how you pronounce it. Okay. Alright, so, um, please let it be the last. How's everything going? Let it be the last. Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Okay, we what? We many details about the game back in June. Come on, Nintendo. So we a video I do not want to see Animal Crossing. Let's see, shall we? I really do not want to see any Animal Crossing. I mean, like... Animal Crossing is good because... I'm not even a pretty good fan of it right now. But I knew it had, like, a... Uh, a whole bunch of uh, childish, uh, whatever. Because it reminds me of um, the, what this game called it that I have on the PS2. Um, it's called Homeland. Yeah, the game I already have on my PS2. I haven't had the chance to, to finish it. Oh wait, not Thank Homeland. It's hard to That's what the package. game is. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. Oh, for you and the other folks participating in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials, like branches. and stones. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Nicely done. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside Side. You can fine-tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style, and you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part of our island cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency, Bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing, catch some bugs, tend to flowers, pick them to make a garland. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Plant it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Yeah, this is, can play I can see everybody in the comment section telling that this is um, really, really boring to watch this, and together in the whatever, because I know with a local I'm not watching any crossing right now, I'm just going to just watch the chat, that's it, this is getting really bored. The whole scene feels meant to be, why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory?
almost deserted island-like looking. What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more calling to you from the island. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. Okay, what's right. the last one? The next game will be our last announcement of the day. Okay, come please on. Give it a look. What's happening? Alright, please. Please don't mess this up. Don't mess this up to everybody. What is this? What? What? What the hell is this? What? 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 Do you wish to change it? Huh? Why? The future. <laughs> no! No! Oh, I'm not really good at this game. No. 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 Hell way. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade no. Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined Why would you show a Xenoblade Chronicle Switch Nintendo? Why? Chronicles, definitive edition. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Alright, that's it. Yo. Yo. Dude. What just happened? It's... It just happened, dude. It, it happened. Alright, well. That was fun. That was fun, Direct. Well, well played, Nintendo. So, uh, you know what? I think there's more where that came from. So, Nintendo have another Direct to really show off. Alright, so uh, before, before we go in, uh, let's just um, listen to what this, um, this guy had to say. We, uh, we want to check out this uh, Banzu Kazoo performance. Or his basic. So, uh, let's hear it. Now that today's Nintendo Direct is over, please let me take just a little bit more of your time. Come on, show us on um, the base of uh, Banjo and Kazooie. Show it. I was playing by myself, using two controllers, like this. With Hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using a shield. So, in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. Today I have my controllers set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. Okay, well, I, so, I don't even know what to do with this guy. I don't even know what to do with this guy. I'll also doing. be doing my best to control two fighters at once, kind of like Banjo and Kazooie, two characters acting as one. Alright, let's get started. Alright, come on, let's do it. So, what let's is see what you got. Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64 back in 1998. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, Banjo Kazooie was released, and then Banjo Tooie. Two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never came to Japan. And then there's Banjo-Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts, which was released on Xbox 360. As some of you may know, the Banjo-Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. Tech 
practically their arrival platform holder. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Brothers series. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. So, if you want to play Banjo and Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but please give the game a try on Xbox. Now let's talk about the music. The Banjo Kazooie series music has a country feel. If we were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle, so we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Up here. Yes, here. You'll see the track names. Okay, let's take a look at the fighter. Alright, let's see it. Yeah, we know that already. So this is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There's Kazooie. Okay. We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. I because I... I love that obvious because why are you moving like that? Like you moving like uh, he's ready to go on the to go on the first day or something. Match. Their jumps are based on abilities like flat flip and feather okay. flap. That's new. Their neutral attack is called cross wings. This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we built upon the original motion so it oh, better fits the action of flat. our games. Interesting. Their flurry attack is a red attack wrap. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which red is something that I like that. as well. That's a tap four roll. Their down tilt is beat bar. Their up smash is build roll. It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazooie. Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazumi is, so this basically means bird bash, which is pretty accurate. Their neutral air is Wing Whack. Nice. Their back air is an air red attack rat, which hits three times. Their down air is Beak Buster, which they use to downstab as they drop. Okay, because that's a, that's a lot of basic to what, what uh, Banjo or in uh, As you can Kazuo see, even their have. regular attacks are based on attacks and from the original game. And basic in Smash Ultimate, because I really like it. The down and up taunts were something that existed in the Banjo uh, Kazooie series. Alright, he got Jessin, he got... The up taunt is based Val, on the animation of Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts, where Banjo and sometimes Jessin. stretches. I like that. <clears throat> okay, so um, now on it's just um, it's just continued to do uh, the buffer. Okay, so what, what's it like to go over their special moves. Oh, come on, show this fight. What the heck? Come on, stop. It's stop pretty much their go to move. The eggs bounce. Alright, so we got it firing that point to touch B. You'll do the attack you see here. Bring up blaster. Okay, hold on. Oh, see, hold on. You got the bird blaster. I see. I got it. You can hold the button for auto fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually increase, so you'll need to be careful. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield buttons. Next, their side special is Wonder Wing. As in their original game, it's an invincible charge. Okay. So we got Wonder Wing now. It's fairly powerful. I like that. will basically win against any other attack. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of them in total, and I just used up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until you lose a stock. Since the remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery option. And since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages, but it does have a weak point. 
action. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. In addition, you can be grabbed during this move. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. Okay, so now that you guys can see, because he got it, the um, fire was better, which means that he's using so many of your um, Wonder Wings. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with the Shock Spring Pad. It can be used to recover, and it's throwable too. Also, it's pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward in that you're still able to jump in mid-air after using it, meaning you can jump twice in a row. Nice. So if you're falling, you can use it like this, jump and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. By the way, the height of a shock spring jump will change depending on how long you hold the button down. Okay, so the down B is very big. This is a slightly odd projectile in that it can only be launched. Well, everybody's uh, taking notes in the chat. And because the grenade egg is football shaped, its bouncy trajectory. Oh yeah, it shapes like a football man explode. After a certain time, it will explode. Okay, well that's something like a. Well, something like that because um, it's like seven when you drop um bombs everywhere. Oh, I see. Because um, it's more like um, when you use Young Link or or Toon Link, because uh, you, you just want them to go and hold the bomb quickly, and somehow it, it will automatically explode. So the uh, that's the way it works. Okay, so now that you guys can see, because um, when you when you use Young Link, you can use it to attack opponents with Young Link Special. Okay, so now that you guys can see, because um, when you use Young Link or or Toon Link, because uh, you, you just want them to go and hold the bomb quickly, and somehow it, it will automatically explode. So uh, okay, so the final smash. What is it? The mighty ginger man is what delivered the final blow to Bruntilda in their original game. The mighty ginger man. This move will send your opponents nice. flying. in Japan, but in the West it's called Spiral, Spiral Mountain. Mountain. Oh, As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. A rotation icon will appear. And the stage will spin. This is quite unusual, even for the what? Super Smash Brothers series. It's truly How are you doing that? Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also change. Okay. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gruntilda's lair is visible. Now that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. Not just one, but two fighters in a team battle. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually two on my side too? So I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad if I just stand around, so I'll play carefully. I should probably keep them in check. Your eggs, which okay, you fired the, um, forward or backward, are useful at times like this. Rat. And thanks to Kazooie, no, Banjo and Kazooie have used moves that's with a relatively really. wide range of attack. Okay, you got the Wonder Wing, you, you got the Pokeball, where are you coming in? Uh, that Pokeball, I don't know. Uh, no, we're playing with items on. Well, sorry, don't collect cards, so um, I don't know what that grass type Pokemon name is. I think we're doing pretty good so far. Well, it's kind of like Lucky Jeff. Opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities <laughs> to pick up items. Yeah, but the, the fighter looked like the, um, as you see the direction from, um, when you're playing Tap and Power Juju. That is what the, 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 the feather really resembles, uh, the, the direction that you see, where the feathers are dropping. 
Okay, that tells tell us how much our uh, one to one you're, you're wasting. Just letting you all know that. I guess I should be explaining all their moves. Okay, so you're going for the um, Ibert. Ouch. Ibert oh. Blaster, whatever. Oh, the final smash meter's filled up. You can have that. Now. Okay, and so the Banjo is going to use it. Alright, he's summoning that mighty generator. Now that there's one less opponent, this should be easier. I do want to use a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. Oh, that's good. And final smash. Alright, yeah, I'm doing it again. You're doing it again. I forced him out, so I win. Banjo picks up the jiggy from the original game. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's funny. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. First, we have the witch from Tilda. In Banjo Kazooie, this poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cruel, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Brentilda. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo 2. He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. Next is Mumbo Jumbo. This poor soul had all of its Mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He helps you out in many ways throughout the game. And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? She's running at the bottom. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the details. Whoa, ooh, that's her size. You can that probably make a magic game just using Banjo this. Banjo Butter? She's raising havoc on the vegetable patch for some reason. And after that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. Well, now she's heading back home. Cause you're just running everywhere in the garden, and then now she's heading back this to the house. This soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd okay. understand how miserable she really is. Interesting character. I can tell a TV oh, brother. Maybe she's not going home? In here, I think so. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty oh, Jinja 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 these are our basic enemy characters called Buzzbombs. Buzz okay, you guys want to let me know in the comments section, what are these uh, yellow hexagons shapes spinning around? What do they mean? Well, this is what they look like close up. It's basically a dragonfly, right? We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard-to-see areas. So I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, I'm, I'm very glad I'm enjoying Mr. Red because... It... Next, let's talk music. We're getting a cool special As direct right there. there. We're taking country style music and adapting it for use in battle. We're including a total of 10 music tracks. Of these, 7 are entirely new arrangements. I've always thought that getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic deal. So, I hope you enjoy it. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. He created the original Banjo Kazooie's music. Oh, for real? I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. And here's the list so. of tracks this time. Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match okay, the so we got how many? on screen. I think we got like um, 8 eight to 11 songs collection because uh, that's how much, how much we have. Of so we got 8 songs in the puzzle and then 3 of them. We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. 
and to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. I'm going to go ahead and Alright, now we're at. It's not over. We still got more where that came from. And here it is. You need to damage the sandbag in front of you as much as possible. Okay. And with this bag, not with this. I go. But this it. And off it goes. Hi. What? Maybe a little too high. Yo! That's insane! Home run contest makes it. Oh, it's coming down to the earth. It's coming down to the earth. How it's much is it? What's the record? What's the new record? We have 2.592 kilometers. Yo. I think that's about the distance from okay. Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the okay. Tokyo Expressway. Very nice. You can actually play with a second player. Let's give it a go. Oh, so you can train a two? Keep attacking using both players. Alright, that's when that's when that battle. And it's no. Okay, why are we watching you? Why are we watching you? It doesn't make any sense. Why are we watching you? And not one person playing as two fighters. I hope you play this with your friends. Okay, so we got here new new customization. Until now, it may have been a little difficult to use since you were not able to customize your special moves. But moving forward, you will be able to freely customize your special moves. Okay, then, Jindo. Okay. Got you, got you. So, yeah, we already know that you can decorate whatever you want on the Mii. It only applies to Mii fighters created after the update. So I hope you re-upload your Mii fighters. Please enjoy many different varieties of Mii Fighters. We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes as well. Please take a look. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we're getting. That's the Mii Fighter costume, round number three. Okay, now what is this? Musical Ninja? What? Yes. Oh, okay, now we're getting a Mega Man. And oh, okay, so we're getting Proto Man. I think he, because he look like Captain Falcon. Why would he ever look exactly like him? Just like Captain Falcon. And now we got Zero Foot. For, from uh, Sword Fighters. Alright, now we're getting Pokemon. Oh, what? So you can jump it just in, like Rainbow Rocket? Yo! No! People! Don't! People! Listen, listen! Guys! Guys! Don't! Don't team up with some Team Rocket! No! They're bad people. You don't want to steal children's Pokeball. Dude, I am not buying it. No. Dude, that, that ain't right. You could not... You could not be Team Rocket. No. <laughs> Alright. That's good stuff right there. I like it. Okay, so you can purchase it for 75 cents. Should be uh, reasonable enough. We've added a costume for Sans from Undertale. He was a popular request. And this Sans outfit also comes with a music track. This will be listed in the other category, so you can check it out there. The arrangement was made by none other than the creator of Undertale himself, Toby Fox. Toby has actually visited my house, and we played Super Smash Bros. Ultimate together. It was actually really good. Of all the guests, he was probably the student. strongest. When we both chose random and played, the win ratio was about half and half. Or I may have been losing. Next, 
Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of Amiibo that will soon be available. Alright, so what's that Amiibo? Squirtle. <gasps> Squirtle's gonna be in it? Alright, and Charizard? Show me Charizard, what did he look like? Oh, great, no Charizard. Okay, just snake. Alright, no Charizard. They will each be available on September 20th. Okay, well, it's, it's, it's just a joke. Better luck next time. Charger won't be in the uh, amiibo. Alright, so we got Sporto, uh, Balthasaur, and Snake. Alright, we got bo both um, free. Actually, we got free, free amiibos. As mentioned in Guys, Nintendo's coming friend. out. Terry Bogart will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although we showed uh, the I surely do want to go ahead and pick up a uh, portal later on because the uh, it sales on the um, game shop until I get it. But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Here you go. Oh, okay. What do we got here? Okay, so we're watching. Okay, so he, he is Terry, I see. Finally. It was announced that we will be working on even more DLC fighters. To me, it yeah, the last like last challenger had to be pretty good. So we got two more challengers coming out in the DLC of Smash Ultimate. So the four of them are finally complete. So I'm looking forward to um waiting for the uh, fifth the fifth Smash fight to come out um, next year. So 2020 is almost coming up, you guys. It's almost coming up. At the same time, I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game world that it's become an enormous game. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. And so, I want to keep improving on this record as much so, as possible. So, um, just to remember you guys, if you are watching this, um, live stream, please, um, sh show the other support of the, um, the stream. Just hit that, um, every check the live stream or the video, um, or the live stream, and then subscribe. Alright, so, we're hitting up 900 subscribers, so I really appreciate you guys, uh, uh, hitting me up 500 subscribers. So, after the channel, we'll all be coming up on tomorrow, on third day. So, I uh, just don't forget it. Alright, so um, that's it. So that's um, a pretty long Nintendo Direct we already fully watched. Because uh, it was not too long because we look at some of these um, footages of uh, Banjo and Kazooie. Because to be honest, it, it just happens to uh, be coming today because I'm looking forward to the uh, fourth challenger. Uh, uh, Terry, because I don't know what game he's from because I have not played with him before. But I'll get him for a try if it, it released on November or 2019. So yeah, holidays are almost coming up, you guys. So um, just uh, stay focused in school, all right. If you um don't like my live stream, that's all right, okay. So just don't come and watch it, all right. It's it's all it's it's what we do because we just go and uh, ask questions and just uh, discussing the latest and topics or what we uh, learned and watched at the um and Nintendo Direct. Cause I really like to do fit so much clearly because I I know because the angle looks pretty bad and um the. Yeah, because I'm just using some tripod because on my device because that's uh, how I stand my uh, phone still much quicker because I had to rest home and just uh, to get this stream going before it shows up to the start. So it's alright because uh, I was a little upset about that because I just uh, kept on taking uh, wrong certain buses. So um, that is it, you guys. So uh, thank you so much for coming to the um, to the stream of Nintendo Direct. So um, if you were liking it, just um, please do. Just you know, you, you need to do the same as I asked you guys. All right. So um, if you already hit that uh, ever tap the subscribe button, just ring that notification bell so that you'll be uh, stay on notified to when my news up the videos and live stream. All right, because I'll be uh, live streaming that uh, pretty cool stuff on Nintendo Online. So uh, we'll play uh, Smash Ultimate. We'll play Mario Maker Two, etc. You name it. Because we'll play a lot more things in the holidays. So don't you worry about that. 
And um, of course, uh, Astro Chain will be uh, starting tomorrow. I will do uh, a shout out video for um, to some of the people that have already hit the subscribe button to 500. I'll show it on on video, so just don't worry about that. And um, just to be sure you guys all these descriptions are filled so you can uh, try to just um, the rebound just help get you on know, start on supporting this uh, channel for this live stream. So uh, that's going to be all it for um, Nintendo Direct. Uh, hopefully I will talk to you guys later for more Nintendo Direct in the future. So um, see you guys later.